So I love twin fins. I love the way they perform. I love the speed. I love the simple turning arc on a 20 when you, when you feel, when you've got it engaged and it actually is turning into the wave. So this is a 5.6 um, by John Pizel. Um, and I most recently rode this at the racetrack at Ulu's and the thing was just like, it just had its own mind. It was just flying, you know what I mean? I was, I was dropping into these things and just generating speed straight away and just making it through sections, little tubes. It was sick. So I was saying that, you know, surfboards, these are, these are tools by which to maximize your enjoyment on waves. And I love surfboards. In fact, I have surf shops here in Bali called Drifter. And the reason Drifter even started was because of this insane 90 Red Brewer that I surfed twice, once here in, in, in Ulu and once in Hawaii. And I just knew that that board needed to be on a wall to be appreciated. And so that's the reason Drifter opened, as well as the fact that we wanted to find a place that we could buy wax. We didn't have to drive miles to get it. But that board was the, the catalyst that really kicked in gear um, Drifter, which then has enabled me to basically collect a whole lot more surfboards, <laughs> which, as I said, is what I love to do. So this board is a whole lot of fun in the right waves too. It kind of likes cleaner waves more, just because of what it is. It's deep, well, it's not that deep, but it's channeled through the tail, 20. Um, but I've surfed it at, at in, other, in other places like Nyang Nyang, that, you know, a little bit more choppy. And once you engage it, I think the, the, the main thing is that just getting on a twin after riding thrusters or different boards takes a bit of time to really get used to kind of the different motion, kind of back foot placement, how you drive, and just really utilizing the twin, which is, they are incredible at generating speed and tubes, getting tubed almost too fast in some cases. Anyway, there you go.